Dude, we're gonna have people here soon. That makes me feel like, I feel like if there's just drones, I'm like, whatever. If you die, that's fine. But with the, with the people stuff, man, once they get here, you've got to really pay attention. What is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Playing some more. Surviving Mars, peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Thank you so much for all your support on the first video, guys. Make sure if you like the video and you want to see more, show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Are you guys charging? Oh, maybe they're not. And if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. I think they are charging. I bet you could go like that. Oh, no. There it is. There it is. All right. So, um, yeah, in the last episode, we got some power generation stuff and things online. We built some solar panel deals. We got some wind turbine guys. We got some power accumulators going. We got some universal depots. I also built a metal depot right here. Just a single one because we're really full up on metal over in this area. Uh, we got some of our guys doing stuff and things. Are you full? So, let's go ahead and have this guy unload uh, right here. Unload metal on our metal deal. He's going to need to recharge here pretty quickly. Everybody else, I do believe, is doing really good. Full battery there. Half, half battery there. Um, and, yeah, we have some stuff and things going on here. So, it said building not working. I'm not sure exactly why that is. I feel like it's fine now. Was it a maintenance issue? The condition of building deteriorates over time. Martian dust and disasters contribute to deterioration of outside buildings. Deteriorating buildings will need to be serviced by a drone and supplied with the required maintenance resource or they will malfunction. Storage space is full. So what we're actually running into here is, this is what the building's not working, is that we're completely full on concrete. I'm not sure if these guys just have, don't have anywhere to put it. Con no, they have, they have space. I wonder if we can get this guy, when he's done unloading, I wonder if we can get this big guy to pull a bunch of concrete out of there. Let's find out. Can you get this guy done? Let's see how that works. All right, so the power generation stuff is working. There's a couple things we want to do in this episode to start things off. We want to get a resupply go, uh, ship going from Earth, and we need to start working on oxygen, and Vehicle we need to start working on... Low. Oh, whose battery's low? Oh, you should be recharging at the same time. Now, are you pulling? Yeah, baby. Pull off that concrete. So when he's done with the concrete, we're just going to move him over here towards the batteries real, real quick. Or towards the power cable so that he can recharge his deal. Uh, yeah, oxygen, water, and resupply uh, going next. Those are our next orders of business. Are you almost done there, big hombre? Okay, let's go over here. Set you right on that cable. That should start you to recharge. Yay? Nay? No? Okay, maybe I don't understand, I don't understand how the recharging works. I thought all we had to do was put him near a cable. And it would start to recharge. It is recharging. Okay. It is recharging. It's just not giving me... Oh, yeah, right there, right there. Charging for power grid. I think I missed it. All right. So, that being said, uh, those things... No, 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 no. Charge. You charge. Click off. Bam. All right. So, let's talk about this resupply deal. I'm not sure exactly where this comes from. Shuttle hub? Houses and refuel shuttles that facilitate long-range resource transmission between depot and resettling of colonists between domes. Okay. I don't think that's what we're looking for. It might be, though. Let's see here. Wind turbine. Those are all, all of our power stuff and things. Electronics factory, fuel refinery. Those are our storages. That's the basic dome. So where do we request the space bar? What a great day for a bar in space, especially for nerds. Where do we request the resupply deal? I'm not sure where we even do that. Okay, so the game was telling us that that's something that we need to get start working on. Um, all right, so I'll figure that out here in a second. But before we get that going, let's go ahead and talk about a water extractor. We can do that right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that water extractor down. Now, a water tower probably would be best put directly near our water extractor. 
So maybe we could put it like there? I mean, we'll have to figure it out, right? We'll see how this all goes. Let's go ahead and get a power cable up and running. We'll start it from here. Like that. All right. So water stuff and things are happening. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside of here at oxygen. Oh, this is the moxie right there. Pro uh, produces oxygen. No production during dust storms. Okay. So this is what we're going to need in order to produce O2. Let's start our O2 production facility over here. It'll already be connected to power. So we'll do that right over there like so. All right, let's talk about the resupply. Let me see if I could figure this out. I don't think this is what we need. Houses and refuel shuttles that facilitate long range resource transportation between depots and resettling of colonists between domes. I think this is like inter or uh, intraplanetary travel, interplanetary travel, interplanetary travel. Hmm, we've got to figure out where that resupply deal is. Oh, right here. Nailed it, Ace. The can't be stopped. All right. So select a cargo rocket and load the desired payload to the rocket's capacity and your available funding. Plan carefully. You have a limited number of rockets and travel times are significant. So we need a cargo rocket. Oh, man. Okay. Dude, I don't know what to bring. <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what we're going to need to use. Orbital probes probes we don't need. Uh, we're probably going to need to start bringing some food, right? How many millions do we have? Oh, wow. We have a lot. Okay, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of money. Drones? We could definitely use more drones. Okay, so hold on. Let's go, let's go back. Let's close this. Let's go ahead and pause this right here. So right here, we can have four more drones. Does this tell me a total number of drones that we can do? Oh, wait a second here. Launch. Automated mode. Oh, wow. This is like getting way, way, way complicated, which I think is really great. If automated mode is active, the rocket will repeatedly travel to Earth and back, and it will land in the same spot. It won't carry any imports or passengers from Earth. The rocket will launch to Earth when the cargo hold is full and the rocket is refueled. Interesting. Allow or forbid exports, change priority, and salvage. Okay. I'm trying to see. Refuel, gather, imports, metal, concrete, pause, electronics, drones. It says six drones total. Rename the rocket. Yeah. Rocket. Uh, we're going to call it uh, Spaceship MK1. Spaceship 9000. MK1. That's what we're taught. Call it a baby. The Spaceship 9000 MK1 is born. Pin this on the quick bar. Okay. So it doesn't look like we can get more drones in any other way besides ordering them through the, the resupply deal. So we're definitely going to want to do that. Cargo rocket. Um, we're going to want drones. Skip four. We'll start off with that. And then what are the materials we, you know, I, I, I almost feel like we don't really know what we need. Let's close out of here again and just see colony overview. So if our advanced materials, it looks like machine parts, electronics, and polymer. We don't have a lot of rare metals. We will be able to get food. We will be able to farm. I mean, I'm sure we can get all these things. You know what I mean? Eventually. But not straight away. So... In the interest of playing the game for fun, we're going to just try some stuff and things out. I'm feeling like food. I don't know how much total space we've got. I see available rockets four out of five. Okay. Our cargo capacity is measured in thousands of kilograms. I don't want any orbital probes. A little bit of extra food I don't think is bad. Metals and concrete we can get. Drones we really can't we really can't build here. Prefab buildings we're not able to bring with us. I'm assuming if we do bring one of these, we're gonna wanna have it full. You know what I mean? We're gonna wanna have a really a decent amount of stuff and things uh going. I'm feeling like a little bit of food because I think I'm not sure if we can produce food before the colonists come or not. So maybe a little bit of food. Metals and concrete, I think we're gonna be good on. Uh 
Let's get more drones. Okay, we're getting close to max here. Um, I'm thinking another transport. That looks pretty good. Let's do it. Well, let's rename it. Spaceship. 9001. MK1. Bam. Launch. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's launched a ship from Earth. Interesting stuff and things are happening. Oh, here we go right there. Cargo rocket traveling to Mars. Flight progress 0%. Okay. Let's turn this guy back on. So we are currently constructing oxygen and foodstuffs. And then eventually this will allow us to make our first basic dome. I feel like... No cable connection. This might not be a bad spot for our dome right here. Um, or we could build it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. It almost kind of feels like we want these things to be away from each other a little bit. But maybe for now, we'll just squirt it right over here when we're ready. We're not, we're not really ready yet. Um, once we get this other stuff done. So let's go ahead and turn this on. It looks like that our batteries... Our power accumulators are kind of fluctuating between full and not all the way full. Um, so I'm feeling like, oh, thank you for the autosave. I'm feeling like the six of these sector are probably scan. good. All right. So we scanned the sector out here. We found we have some metal deposits in that area. Nailed it. Ace came stop. Um, oh, okay. So this guy's good to go here. Let's go ahead and send him back over to do that stuff. Uh, let me pause again real quick and take a look at, we can dismiss this guy. Hmm. Oh, we're 23% the way there. For this homes educated research look at this man it really starts off as this really simple you know what i mean like there's not a lot going on and i feel like it's going to get real complicated real real quick um a drone hub is something we haven't really got into yet because it seems like we haven't needed it if we were to do another our drone hub maybe in this area is where we could get that to happen um blocking objects Blocking objects. Hmm. How does this thing, how is this thing even shaped? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Too far from working drone commander. Oh, so these are like extenders. I get you, I think. Let's stick it down right over. I want it to fit in real nice. Too far right there. We'll squirt it down right there. That's good. I, I, I worry a lot about making the wrong choices, but you know what I mean? We are just kind of playing around and having fun and seeing what's going on. How's our scanning going? So we're continuing to scan areas. We're going to queue up a couple more. Get those guys ready to rock and roll. Looks like this power generation still... Oh, it is full. So we probably could stand to have a couple more of these guys at some point. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to build over that rare deposit deal right there. Okay, so water generation is up and running. Hourly production, zero out of five. So these guys aren't connected to anything with piping. All right, so let's check this out and see how this works. Uh, let's turn this down to touch. Our drone deal got built. Oh, this guy needs water? All right, weird. All right, let's check out how this works, man. So over here, here's our piping. Oh, what? Oh, this is weird. Let's check this out again. Water tower, pipe valve, hydroponic farm. We haven't researched the fungal farm yet. Transports water and oxygen. Okay. So if we were to do this, like say here, Oh, I see. It's overground type deal. Um, well, that's interesting. I kind of wanted to keep this whole area open for expanding our power production. Um, it looks like we're going to have to have a little bit of crossover. 
Now, hold on a second. Can this just build? It can't build through buildings, but you can build over the electrical stuff. So let's just try maybe to make a line like so and like so. Call that a day. We'll start off with something maybe not super perfect. Just to see kind of how it works. And maybe then we can start to relocate some stuff. How are you doing over here, homie? Are you full? Are you full, big guy? Uh, let's have him unload. And I think we're going to need more metal storage, too. So, uh, click off there. Come back into here. Go ahead to storage. Take our metals depot. Can't put it neatly in that area. We can put a couple back over here. And we'll stick another one in there. We probably don't need all of those. Now, I'm wondering if we're going to need to put some piping here. Just so that it hooks up to the water tower. Yeah, I do believe we needed to do that. Now, what if we were to salvage that guy? Just to make this look a little bit better. No, it didn't do it. I wanted to see if we could take out this extra connector, but it doesn't look like that that's the case. All right. Moxie's up and running. Hourly production, two. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> all right. Let's turn stuff things up. Let's get all this piping completed. And let me check this out. Okay, so we have a bunch of concrete on here. We've got to unload. Unload it right there. Are you full? Oh, man, we're all full of concrete. Okay, I got you. I got you. Hold up, hold up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everything twice. Everything twice. Let's do a concrete depot back over there. And we'll select this guy. You can unload that right there, big guy. So concrete, we are set, man. We are super set on concrete. We've got a ton of metal. Go ahead and have him start gathering that up. And then all of our piping's done too. It should be. Must be connected to an oxygen consumer. Okay, so it's no big deal. Uh, we don't really need that to be a thing right away, but we can maybe start on our basic dome. Do you feel like this is a good spot for it? We'll plop it down. Base dome. Let's go, man. Let's do stuff with things. It's going to be great. We'll start production on our first dome, man. See how this is all going to work out. Sector scanned. All right. So B5 got scanned. We have some metal deposits in the area. Uh, we do have to take a look here real quick at what's going on with our research. Yeah, we're still doing stuff and things. We're good to go. We got a new research piece, Drone Swarm. Drone hubs are constructed with additional two drones and their maximum number of drones is increased by 80? Holy crap, man! Dude, that's amazing. So we, we've got to do some more research here. I wonder if there's a way to get our research to go up uh, more research points more quickly. Hmm, I'm not sure. All right, so we got metal going. Concrete's definitely good to go. We're making our first deal. Uh, our ship, oh, is that here? Ready to land? Oh, neat. Let's make a little landing deal over here. So this guy's coming down. Oh, baby, yeah, we got a new guy. We got new drones. Sweet technological advancements. Go team. All right, so this guy, we can actually set him over here to start gathering up that concrete because we have an excess there. You are not full yet. Gather up all this right here. Vehicle battery low. Whose battery's low? You get you over here, homie, to get some charging going. You guys, man, it's like a little, we've got a little thing going on here, for sure. All right, let's take him, unload at the concrete. Are you gonna do it? Mm 
I think I have to hit unload each time. All right, so that guy's doing his thing. This guy's charging up. Slow things down to touch. That's gathering up that stuff. There's just so much stuff going on, man. I couldn't even imagine when you start to get the RC Rover as a mobile base for drones. You know about this. We start to get a lot of different stuff happening at the same time. Um, and you start to expand out into the entire map. You know what I mean? Anywhere you'd like. I bet that's kind of amazing what you can get done. The level of complexity of stuff and things. We're just at the beginnings of the stages, though. All right. Let's go ahead and select this guy. Concrete, metals, and polymers. So we're just bringing over concrete before the dome is created. It looks like... Interesting. Current status of the rocket. It needs refueling? Waiting for refuel. Sector scanned. No resources in sector C5. I, it feels like our power production is good. Research complete. Mars crowdfunding. Okay, let's pause stuff and things. Let's go ahead and take a look. So that was... Oh, no, no. Right here. So that gave us a cash influx? Is that right? Yeah, I received the one-time grant of a thousand million bucks. All right. Sweet. Okay. I really want this to be completed. Oh, it's so close. It's so close, baby. Oh, wow. It has taken a really long time for the construction progress. So cool, man. Dude, we're going to have people here soon. That makes me feel like... I feel like if there's just drones, I'm like, whatever. If you die, that's fine. But with the, with the people stuff, man, once they get here, you've got to really pay attention. We're going to have to do a good job. Uh, are you done over here, homie? That big guy. And then we've also got another guy over here. Hold on. Let me get up. This guy who we can have to, uh, start doing some stuff and things as well. All right. Our first dome. Milestone He's achieved. Not it, we have a power shortage. <laughs> Milestone achieved. We have a power shortage. All right, milestone achieved. Construct the dome. Colonists live in residential buildings within the domes. The basic residential building is called living quarters. Okay, so we're going to have to craft some living quarters. We have a power shortage, or does it just mean that power is not connected? Must be connected to the power grid. Okay, so that's no big whoop. We can take care of business and connect you right up to the power grid, big guy. Let's go power cables. Uh, let's go from, say, yeah. Huh? Nailed it. It's the game stuff. All right. So uh, let's pop out a little bit here. Construct the dome. So uh, launch the rocket from Mars. That we're not going to be able to do, I don't think, until we get a refuel. Because let me take a look at this here. So this guy's not even refueled either. The 9000 MK1. So that's not even a thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and take care of the domes without power. Okay, so the dome has power. Nail the day, escape. Stop. This is our dorm, Arnoldson. Can we rename this? Dome 9000 <laughs> MK1. All right, nail the day, escape. Stop. Super unbelievable, and amazing. All right, so that guy's good to go there. Um, and you have water, you have power. Um, it also looks like when we select the dome, the little dome shielding goes away. That's pretty interesting. Let us uh, slow down. Let's, uh, whoa. Hold on. There we go. All right. Let's slow down. Let's take a look at what we got going on as far as the living quarters. Okay. So the living quarters provides living space, resting residents, recover comfort faster compared to other residents. Okay. We've got a playground, a school, a research lab, a nursery, living space for children. There's the space bar provides space for R&R. &R. And fancy cocktails. Uh, there's a diner for food, an infirmary, a hospital, open air gym. Visitors recover a small amount of health and may become fit. Uh, like just like me. Casino, we're not building any. Recreation. 
uh, security station for crime issues, the grocer for food, uh, or distributes hot meals, so like a higher level of food, art, uh, and the electronics store. That's where I would go. And also, it looks like we can do... Oh, projector lamp makes a Martian night a little brighter. Oh, so it looks like... You can only do it outside the building? Cool! Let's craft one. Let's just craft one and see what that's all about. Um, small garden, different gardens, alleys, stone garden. There's a lake you can put in. Oh, so you just have like a little bit. You've got a, okay. So you've got a small amount of building space inside of here and you've just got to make sure you utilize it to the best of your ability. Small fountain. This is the unbuildable area. Uh, a large fountain or a statue. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start off uh, small. Let's look at living quarters. And it looks like that if we do living quarters, we can really just fit like living quarters. And that's all we can fit. So we're going to craft some of those inside of there. Let's take a look at what are the essential things that you would probably need. I mean, I think to start off with, we would need maybe double living quarters. I mean, how many people does it even house? It says zero of zero colonists, so we don't even really need that yet. Just trying to think forward for when we start to colonize what exactly we we're going to want to have here. Uh, a diner, infirmary. Well, we, we're going to need food production. Uh, so that's probably our next order of business. Let's take a look inside of here. We got the Moxie oxygen tank. Stores oxygen. So if you have an overproduction, we're absolutely going to want this. Uh, let's take a look at... Is that as close as we can place it? Let's place one here. Hmm, that's interesting. And one here. To start off with, we'll see how those end up working out. So it looks like the drones, they're coming in and out of the little door. Look at that, that's so cool, man. Not an entrance, lol. That's so neat. So they go in and out of our dome. Look at our dome. It's so clean. As it would be. You guys, that's super cool, man. Oh, I didn't even notice. It looks like these concrete extractors dig down a little bit. It also looks like they only dig in this one area. So if this area uh, is complete uh, and there are no more... Uh, there's no more concrete to extract from here. I think you could maybe either demolish this or turn it. Oh, it looks like it needs maintenance bad. I'm gonna set these guys back over to getting metal. Now we did get this drone to perform maintenance. Is that it? It's done? Oh my God, that was so amazing. So we can turn it back on. Okay, let's try this again. Stop you over here, perform maintenance right there. Is it that it can't be maintained until it's turned off? When you're ready, you can invite your first colonist to Mars, launch a passenger rocket from Earth, and land it near one of your domes. The rocket will carry some food supplies but you'll have to secure power, oxygen, water, and living spaces to advance. So I'm just confused about why I can't get these guys to maintain, to do the maintenance, but then suddenly one of them just did do maintenance. I wonder if once it clears out the backlog of some of these, uh, the waste stones and the concrete, if then it will automatically do maintenance. Is that what happened with the other one? Come here, man. The video's going long, and all we want to do is see if the maintenance is going to work. Okay, so that guy's carrying a waystone over. We'll see how this works over here in a second. Let's take a look at our oxygen storage. So we're producing some O2 over here. We are storing some additional oxygen. I feel like we could probably use another Moxie. Um... Let's go ahead and plop one down. Blocking objects. 
Oh, is it because that's in the way? Sector scanned. Let's go like so. And we'll squirt one of those guys down over here. So I've decided to add some additional stuff and things inside of our dome to get ready for our humans that are going to be coming into the land. So we've got our dome, our living quarters. I built a nursery. We have a playground that's being constructed. Decided to put in a school and an infirmary and a hydroponic farm to generate food. Uh, research labs going right here. Uh, this is going to provide more research. We can do that more quickly. And then there's a playground right over there like so. I also think that we're going to go ahead and do some more stuff over here. Sector scan. I, I feel like a lake would be super cool. And then maybe a small fountain right there. So this little area where the kids are hanging out is going to be super, super cool. Sector 4 got scanned. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, let's come back down over here. It's not working. All right, move this way. <laughs> move this way. There it is. So uh, when we're ready, we're going to have some stuff things uh, for all of our colonists. Now, we need more food production, that's for sure. Um, I didn't even check out our light post deal. We've got to see how that's all going. Um, O2 production looks like it's working out well. We have two moxies over here. Um, I'm not sure how much food the hydroponic farm is going to produce, uh, but we'll have to see how that all works out. We don't want to have a food shortage problem. So we're going to be ready in the next episode to get our... Oh, one building not working because we don't have any colonists yet. So in the next episode, I do believe we're going to be ready to bring our colonists down to the planet. It's going to be exciting, but that's going to be it for today, peeps. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget, show your support, smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.